Uh, <laughs> why don't we just hasten slowly? <laughs> so, hide. Okay, we don't have flaps, which is good. Then, Security. Uh, There's stuff in the back, but it's not too bad. Uh, engine, that's looking green. Location, uh, you reckon we're okay? We're okay up to four and a half. Uh, uh, look out, well we haven't... We haven't done these two um, clearing turns that we're supposed to. Or, or a clearing turn that we're supposed to. Velocity 511, contact tower 118, good day. 118, velocity 511. Okay, so what are we going to do some stalls? Yeah mate. Well apparently you're going to do some stalls for me. I'll just turn around first. You're a madman! You're a madman, Andrew! <laughs> it's still scary, that's the weird thing it's about it. It's not fucking scary. You're fucking he's more confident than what you were six months ago. Oh yeah, I know, but it's still scary. That's the that's what's frustrating about it. What's scary about it though? Well the nose just I was checking my phone. The nose does these ones. It's Oh yeah, but I think what's scary about it is it's it's um it's if, if the nose doesn't do that, you worry. I wanted to drop the nose and drop a wing and start flying again, all by itself like that. It doesn't seem real scary to me. No, but the... Um you just got to convince yourself it's not. You're behaving like it's not, so just keep getting familiar and comfortable with it, you know? Yeah, I just get a bit more height. good now that we've done that big oil cooler on it, eh? It sits yeah. at 90 all day. Remember it used to go to 120 and 115 all the time? Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, it's good now. All clear on the right. What's that? All clear on the right. Right, right, you bloody well right. You know you got the right to say. Right, you bloody well right. You know you got the right to say. Hey, hey, you bloody well. Contact tower 118 decimal 7, get in. You know you got the right to say. Hey. Right, you bloody well, right. You know you got the right to say. Hey. Right. You bloody well, right. Doesn't seem real scary. Does it? Um, what's frightening is you're not supposed to spin it. Because the other one is less frightening because it's okay to try. What are you going to show me now? Uh, Steve turned to the right. I don't think I'm stalling. Well, it's <laughs> fluffy white thing. Alrighty. Just give me that tail, thanks. That spacing's good. You can now track for the run now. Track for the run, I'll give you that tail. Yeah, the other thing is, too, when we go and do that incipient spin, yeah. The Fox Pack drops the wing a bit more aggressive than the Cathlon and the Extra, so... You know, it's just one of those things. The big thing is you're getting it flying and you're pushing forward. Yeah. You're getting That's it flying. Just, uh, That's going to save your 6, life 6, every time. Yeah. Climbing to 6,000. Just done 499, approach, get identified. Climb by said the flight level 120. That's, that's oh, half the battle. You're getting it flying and you're with a forward elevator. Yeah. That's safety. Forward to fly, back to die. Can we do a falling leaf? Should we try a falling leaf? Uh, why don't we work up to it? it you know it's gentle. What are you doing? 
one. You just started a falling leaf then. Yeah, I stood up. <laughs> You did, no, you did a falling loop initially, you did, the first, you, did the, you did it for a few seconds. Oh yeah, I was, I was keeping the nose straight, yeah. yeah. Just don't use any aileron, it'll make it easier for you. <laughs> you used a tiny yeah. bit of right aileron. Oh, did I? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just keep those aileron, use both hands, keep the ailerons ne perfectly neutral. <coughs> Just use your rudder. And don't overdo the rudder. Yeah. Anticipate with the rudder. Doing it, falling leaf. There you go. There you go. And tippy toe the rudder pedals. But you're pushing the stick forward. Don't push it forward. You're doing it. It's falling leaf. Yeehaw! Ah. Let's get Clear to drop. Circuit runway one four seven thousand. Yeah. The, uh, the more you do it, the more comfortable you get with it. That's the. Uh, Just four ninety nine. You wouldn't do those for the capital with me. You wouldn't do them. Remember, we're going down to 2,000 foot a minute or whatever, we're, you know, 1,500 foot a minute in a falling leaf or, yeah. in a, you know, in a stall, in a, in a uh, deep stall. That's one of the tricky things, that's perhaps one of the trickiest things about exposure to scary stuff is that when you're actually doing the scary thing, it doesn't feel like if you keep doing it, it'll get less scary. That's the big... And time speeds it, up. It, it seems to speed up. It, it doesn't feel like it's going to get less scary. So what happens... So, what, so when you're doing something scary with someone, Oh yeah, we're going to the step. When you're doing something scary with someone, um, they won't feel like um, they won't feel like they're making any progress. But you are. I can see it. You just can't see it. Oh yeah, I can see it too. Yeah, but right. I'm just mentioning that to you. So if you if you've got um, you got people who are uh, helicopter uh, scared of stuff, Alpha, I suggest that you uh, get the guy home and do something less scary, like stand on a ladder, so that they've got a lived experience of something getting less scary, like right down on a scale of 1 to 10, how scary yeah, whatever they're doing is. Uh, you get your clients to do that. Right down yeah, on a 1 to 10. Scary. Yeah. Yeah. Descend to 2,000 and report shoot through 7,000. Two thousand, I'll stay here, Delta. Yeehaw! Doesn't stall, you know, real politely, does it, or gently, but you can still controllable. The, 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 the Eurofox just mushes a bit, it's a lot more gentle. This time tends to buck a bit. Better trading plane. Ah, give me a go. My controls. Your controls. See if I can do a real gentle deep stall slash falling leaf. Thanks, Cadet Tower, Woman 8, Decimal 7. Put your hand there for me so I can see a bit. Tower, Woman 8, 7, I'll give you a good I'm holding controls. controls really gently. Yes, yeah, still mine. I'm just going to try and do it gentle. Oh, it's hard, though. I've got the elevator all the way back. No ailerons. Just rudder. It's like a bit of a bucking bull, but you can control it. I'm using full rudder here, full rudder there. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit aggressive when it does it, but it'll do it. If you do it in a tiger moth, it just goes down really gentle like that. <laughs> well, <laughs> the other bizarre thing is about it. I was surprised how high the nose is because, um, well, because it's so unstable, the nose actually flips up. It actually had. No, when you're in a deep stall with the elevator full back, the aeroplane generally will have the nose up sitting there. Big high angle of attack. Falling, oh, of course. Falling out of the sky at 1,000 foot a minute or whatever. I didn't look at what it was. Oh, yeah, that, no, that makes sense. Your controls. Yeah, it'll do a bit of a falling leaf, but it's not very, it's not very, uh, not very uh, glamorous, I guess, is the term. Okay, well, I did a falling leaf, there you go. You did, mate. Deep stall and a falling leaf. I was, I was actually trying to keep it straight, but I was doing a falling leaf anyway. What's next? Full power stall. 
you've done them in the decathlon in the uh, in the decathlon. Yes. Not going to be much different, as you know. Why not just do a half hour still? You reckon it's not going to be much different? Let me show you. Yeah, okay. My controls. Your controls. Full power. Pull the nose up. The is going to be higher, but other than that, the rudder's going to work better, the elevator's going to work better. I don't have to pull back as much. It's already stalled. East forward, fly away, right rudder, right rudder, right rudder, now right aileron. That was a full power stall, I'll show you again. It's probably even better with full power. The alarms give a bit of a niggle as it stalls. I don't know what it's going to be, 35 knots or whatever, 30 knots. Full power, there it is. It's stalled. Ease the stick, forward, fly away. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Was that a stall? <laughs> yeah, your controls. Because the alarms bloody get rough air, they get turbulated air over them and they start doing this and it's stalling. The nose didn't drop. I could have stalled it a bit deeper and got the nose to drop, but still a stall. So it's actually better with full power, this aeroplane, for the stall. Probably because the tail's a bit short and the um, the, uh, the rudder's not so uh, effective, so it probably works, makes the rudder work better. Oh, excuse me. Uh, holes disappeared a bit. I might just. Uh, no, it's only because we've got a fairly high now at four grand, see? Yeah, I might just go a bit lower. Head down through that valley there for me, to, towards that quarry. Head down that valley. Here, yeah, right, you've got plenty of room to do a, a couple of stalls or whatever. We'll also, if we go this way, we'll also get a bit further away from the step. Yep, exactly. Head for that quarry there, that uh, new, or new housing estate. So, fuel back on the boat. Yeah! Now that I've levelled them up a bit. Both. What's next, Doctor? Uh. St clouds are a bit lower than they were. So we're only about. Oh, I think they're pretty much the same, aren't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. Excuse me. We're only at 3,000 now. Uh, You're only going to be recovered by 2,000. What's today? Saturday. Just turn around a bit. This is 45 degrees, isn't it? Uh, yeah, good 45, maybe 50, yeah. Well, th that's that thing there. <coughs> is that a 45? Yeah. I think so, yeah. I think you are right. Yes, you are right. Yeah. That was exactly 45. <coughs> Excuse me. Stick all the way back. Nah, it's still stall though. It's it's bumping like crazy. It did drop a wing or a nose, but it was still stall. Yeah. And it didn't flip on its back magically. And even if it does, what are you going to do? Go back to idle. Idle is neutral. Full of a Serrata. Move the stick forward. Even if it does flip on its back. Yeah, and it flips on its back. It's called auto rotation. You already know 
it, that is, you already understand it. So it's just auto rotation. It's less than one, it's 1G flight. You're very slow, you're not going to hurt anything. Recover from the ensuing dive and fly away. Whoa! At the step. Approximately 25 miles to the west of Gold Coast at 6,000 feet currently. Um, uh, in keep it for the uh, quarry for me. Up, to the, up that valley. Towards the north. Okay. From Rubina Town. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, so what bank angle was that? 60? 40 or 50 or 60, yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to... Didn't want to... Uh, uh, I was happy to lose height because I didn't want to overstretch anything. I just wanted to turn quickly. Okay, so... Uh, I suppose I should do some stalls with some clap on it. It'd be a good thing while you're here, actually. Yeah, mate, do it. Because I don't want to... Uh, We're just going to be recovered by 2,000, so get into it. Bring yourself, throw yourself down, get some flap out. You're supposed to do it with all the flat for fun. Quark, 3, 3, 4, 6. And just stall and do a go-round from there, you know, do a, do a recovery. Kilo Romeo, you are identified. Uh, so okay. just come down your attention so, and low level. With, uh, Track by Rubina Town Centre, ah, 1,500 and call the tower. Half ah, flaps not much anyway. Yeah, there you that go. Would be my normal stall, normal recovery. Kilo Doesn't Kilo behave much differently. Right I think it stalls better, uh, better with that. Great general that is. Gold Coast Tower, 118,817. Pretty general. Main clear of Cross Charlie and Contact Tower. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I used earlier on that. Did you see that? Just don't ever speed your flaps, don't ever speed your flaps. Helicopter hood. Fox out, Fox out. Keep heading up to it, to the up the valley up there. Fox out. Your controls. No, you're, you're still fine. Just head head that way. Which is about uh, one, one twenty, one, one thirty. Can I do another one? Yeah, okay, I'll well, pull flat. <coughs> Be gentle with. I remember this thing from memory is good with full flaps. Actually, more gentle, which is a bit odd for an aeroplane, but actually still better with full flaps. Bit, bit more gentle. It's very gentle with full flap. Going straight though, you're turning. What are you turning for? Uh, I had it almost full left rudder in. Well, try, try and use a bit of uh, left rudder on there. My controls, let's just oh, see if it no works. way! Yeah, my controls. Oh no, no, that's yeah. not right. Yeah, but you've got full flap hanging out now and they're, and they're stalled flaps. Let's just see if it works. If I stall it, I don't want to keep turning right the whole time because then we're out of control. So if I stall it and use rudder, yeah, you can, you can control it without ailerons. Just hold. Oh, hang on. It's full rudder. Okay. Uh, yeah, you've got to use a bit of aileron to make it go straight. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, it's not. It's pretty hard to control it with, um, like, to keep it stalled. With I got full right rudder now and a bit of right aileron. Yeah, you're right. But don't like if you if you if you're turning like you're turning right. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? You're sort of doing a, a deep stall while you're doing a turn, which is fine. You can do it, but you haven't really got control of the aeroplane, have you? Well, I had. So it's kind of it's a little bit, little bit of negative learning. You're not really controlling the aeroplane, because it's just Got turning right, well, you just got a yeah, steep stall, so... Which is, you can do it, if, if you're meaning to. But we weren't meaning to lose control and keep turning right in a stall. For what I was doing it for was to see if I could straighten it up with full rudder. Oh, you're going to use some aileron. You have to cheat and use some aileron. And the other reason I did it was that, to, because I didn't want to chicken out, I wanted to say, OK, yeah, yeah. I've, I've stalled, I've got full... So you got you got to recover. I'd rather see you not do that negative training 
because you're not you're not in control. So you've either got to recover from it or cheat a bit. Because it can be done, right? I just showed you it can be done. Well, cheat, cheat a bit like this, because we don't want to be losing. Okay, it's going to turn right. I'm not going to let it. Full left rudder. Bit of left aileron. Full right rudder. Bit of right aileron. I'm still stalled, but I'm cheating a bit with some aileron. So I'm still controlling the aeroplane. We're doing advanced stalling now. So yeah. when I say to you, don't use aileron, don't use aileron, well, it wasn't working if we don't use aileron, so we have to cheat a bit with aileron because we've got all the flaps hanging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm using the tiniest bit of aileron to help the rudder. See that? Yeah, OK. Well, I wasn't... So I'm not, I'm not turning right the whole time like you were, though. I'm actually keeping some sort of direction. Oh, I'm look, still in control. Copy that. Thank you. Make sense? Yeah. That's all. So you've, you've got two options. You can, you can, you can say... I'm going to do a deep stall with a right turn, or whichever way it turns, and you're just going to let it do it. Yeah. And you do that for a little while. I'd rather see you go, up, lose the control, go around, or do what I did and actually control the aeroplane, with whatever means you need to. Okay. And we're doing something a bit weird. We're, we're holding a deep stall with full flat, so we might have to use a bit of armor because the flat's come down so much. Your control. I'm not teaching you bad habits, but we're doing advanced flying now, aren't we? Okay. Well, uh, we do use aileron when we're spinning and snap rolling in an aerobatic plane, but we use them we use them intelligently. So I guess I'm saying to you, if you want to keep it going straight in a fully developed stall with full flap, you may have to use some ailerons intelligently. Yeah, okay, well, I won't. But the same as when we do flat spins in an aerobatic plane, we, we do it by using aileron, outer spin aileron, to get it to flatten out and spin flatter. So we're using the ailerons intelligently. Now, what about full power with full flaps? What happens then? Oh, fuck, it'll just smash. Do it, do it. It might be much different. It'll probably be better. It'll probably be just, just as nice as your, your clean one. Hey, Have you ever done it before in this? No. Uh, oh, I might have. Contact Full power. Nose up. Just stall it. It's not going to do much. I, I probably have. I can see you now it won't be, uh, it won't be aggressive or anything. Oh, I think there's a bit of a bump. Yeah, we're getting some rain or something. <laughs> My controls. Uh, your controls. Let, let me have a go. Let's get, let's get it happening. Let's get it happening. And nose up, nose up, nose up with full power. I reckon it'll be quite um, gentle. There it is. And there it goes. 21 knots lower than nose. Look how gentle that was. 21 knots it was. Ready? Show you again. Watch your arm now. I can't see much. You're creating a big blind spot for me, Andrew. 21 knots, 22 knots. There it is. And it won't even bite us. Your controls. Your controls. Uh, Have a go. Uh, okay. Full uh, power, full power. If you want it. Romeo 634 Alpha and Bravo is based. Kilos of the Romeo, both uh, 634 Alpha and Bravo. Hold the nose there, wait till it slows down. Copy that, the RDX, thank you. That's, That's it. it. That's it, and I just told you to hold the nose there because you don't want to go too high nose up. You don't ever want a tail slide, do you? When the airplane's uh, not, a, not approved for it. Okay. No. 